All right, so another example of solving a trig equation with coefficients in the argument. So here we've got cosine of 3x times sine of 2x equals 0. Well, this is already factored, um, and we've got 0 on the right side. So simply, uh, we just need to find solutions to uh, where cosine of 3x equals 0 and also where sine of 2x equals 0. I'm going to do the same thing um, as in the previous example. Okay, so I'm going to say let's let uh, let's let y equal 3x. Okay, so originally we wanted x to be in the interval 0 to 2 pi. That means 3 times x would have to be in the interval 0 to 6 pi. Okay, so I'm just multiplying. Uh, basically everything by 3 here. Uh, and again, that's the same thing as y. So uh, I'm going to say cosine of y equals 0. But again, I'm trying to find solutions to this equation. Where does cosine y equal 0 in the uh, interval from 0 to pi over 6? Well, let's see. I think there's a, uh, if you think about the unit circle, so cosine is 0 at pi over 2. Um, also, it would be cosine would be 0 at 3 pi over 2, but that's just sort of a one trip around the circle. We could add 2 pi to each one of these. So if we take pi over 2 plus 2 pi, well again we could make that 4 pi over 2, and that would give us 5 pi over 2. Likewise, if we take 3 pi over 2 and add 2 pi, We'll add 4 pi over 2, which is going to give us 7 pi over 2. So there's uh, one solution, two solutions, three solutions, four solutions. But again, now we've uh, only sort of gone around twice. So we would have to, again, add 2 pi to these solutions. So again, uh, if we add 2 pi, that's going to be 4 pi over 2. So we'll simply get um, 9 pi over 2 as another solution. And if we add 4 pi over 2, we'll get also 11 pi over 2. Okay, so we've got six solutions so far. Um, again, those are not solutions to the original equation. Um, we've simply figured out values for y. But what I'm going to do now, again, y equals 3x. So that means uh, 3 times x could either equal pi over 2, uh, 3x could equal 5 pi over 2. Um, 3x could equal 9 pi over 2. Uh, likewise, 3x could equal 3 pi over 2. 3x could equal 7 pi over 2. Or 3x could equal 11 pi over 2. But in each one of these cases, what I'm going to do is just simply multiply both sides by one-third. So we would get x equals pi over 6 as a solution. We would get x equals 5 pi over 6 as a solution. Um, if we multiply uh, both sides by one-third, uh, we'll get simply 3 pi over 2. Um, if we multiply both sides here by one-third, we'll get x equals pi over 2. Yeah, again, if we multiply by one-third, we'll get x equals 7 pi over 6. And if we do it one more time, we'll get x equals 11 pi over 6. Okay, so I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 solutions. And again, notice uh, x again. Uh, we wanted it to be in the interval 0 to 2 pi. And all of these numbers, pi over 6, 5 pi over 6, 3 pi over 2, uh, pi over 2, 7 pi over 6, 11 pi over 6, all of those fall in the interval 0 to 2 pi. So now we're going to have to do the same thing for sine of 2x. Um, I don't know, since we all already used, uh, used y, maybe let's use something else. Uh, maybe we can say let, um, let's let uh, q equal 2x, whatever. Since originally, again, x was in the interval 0 to 2 pi, that means 2x would be in the interval 0 to 4 pi. And again, uh, x is the same thing, that's what we're relabeling as q. 
So really we're trying to solve sine of q equals 0. But again, uh, now we have to think about all solutions in this interval 0 to 4 pi. Well, this would happen at the angle 0, pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, and also at 4 pi. At all of those angles, sine of all of those angles will give us 0. And again, I'm going to have to do the same thing. I'm just going to say let 2x uh, equal 0, or it could equal pi, or 2 pi. So I'm being a little sloppy with my notation here, or 4 pi. And what I'm going to do is just, again, simply divide both sides by 2. So 0 over 2 would be 0. Pi over 2 would be, well, pi over 2. 2 pi divided by 2 would just be pi. 3 pi divided by 2 would be, well, 3 pi over 2. 4 pi divided by 2 would simply give us 2 pi. So we found yet another 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 solutions. Again, all of these fall in the interval 0 to 2 pi. So our solutions would be these five along with the six that we found before. And again, we said that was x equals pi over six, five pi over six, three pi over two. Um, we said pi over two worked, seven pi over six works, and also 11 pi over six works. So uh, these would be actually all of our solutions to this original equation. Where's it at? Uh, to this original equation, cosine of 3x times sine of 2x equals 0. So again, you know, a little tedious because uh, you really have to kind of, again, manipulate. Uh, you have to think about sort of a different interval, not just uh, 0 to 2 pi. You've got to think about 0 to 4 pi. Um, and again, I think the substitution trick, to me, this is sort of the easiest way. This is what, uh, you know, helps me think about the new interval and just, uh, you know, make sure that I catch all the solutions.